Good morning. Alright, so first you guys should just talk about the whales and then we'll get into all the other things. So first just to start, say good morning from Good morning from Mauritius. We're talking about the sperm whale. Mauritius. What animal are we talking about today? Whales. Whales, whales. Spoon whales. I met someone. Oh, yeah? And her name is Mauritius. Okay. And I love her. This place was awesome. And I want to marry her. I know, I know. Keep going all the way to the plane. Keep going. All the way to the plane. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold up, hold up. We need to introduce you to something very special. Reintroduce you, because in 2019, we for our first time launched Buggyless Backpacks. They sold out very quickly and we just haven't restocked them since, but we didn't want to restock them just to restock them. We wanted to make them better and improve. So we are introducing Buggyless Backpacks 2.0. Key features are the luggage strap, Game changer. This is my favorite new feature. This one's purely aesthetic, but maybe my favorite new feature is the new interior lining. Check it out. This backpack was designed with ultimate accessibility. You can get inside of it from the top, from the side, and from the back. There's something important I want to explain, and that is everyone who took a chance on us and bought Buggyless Backpacks 1.0. The first ones, when we first launched them, new company, this is our first time doing backpacks, and people took a risk and bought our backpacks. And it's been so rewarding seeing them share pictures all around the world. As we made improvements to Bucketless Backpacks 2.0, I wanted to reward the people that have always believed in us and took a chance on us. And so we are sending out an email to everyone who bought 1.0 to give them a really good discount if anyone's interested in buying 2.0. All right, we hope you love them. Once again, reintroducing Bucketless Backpacks 2.0. Silly stance. <laughs> Wait, look at look at Manila. What's he doing? Go left. Dorothy, go left. Oh. Oh, high fives, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, next time. <laughs> Now he, now he can see back because he's allergic. Yeah. So here we are. Made it. Oh, he's like in hotels. Oh, very nice. Yeah, that's like every, like, like in Guys, this is nice. Wow. Whose room is this, do you think? Let me go inside. Manila loves stairs. Oh, is this Dorothy's room? This one might be mine. No, this one's in bags. This one's mine, I think. Cute. <laughs> Okay. Guys, these rooms are cool. That looks like Manila size. Well, so I think this one will be Manila and Callie. Yeah. And the outfit downstairs is for Callie. But they just put it on mom and dad's room. One, two, three, four. Okay, that one's for sure Callie's. Why does Callie They know who's the boss of the family. They're my sis. What? <laughs> Gosh, this place is nice. <laughs> Mom, this place is nice. How many bedrooms upstairs? Uh, two. So I think the whole place is just three bedrooms. Yeah, oh, never mind. Whoop, one's over here. Oh, jeez. Never mind. This is Mom and Dad's room. Are you yeah. Why does he get the giant bed? Yeah, my sis. Why do I get two beds? <laughs> you get two beds. Split apart. You get your own bed. And then he gets a big bedroom. Yeah, <laughs> my sis. We arrived to Mauritius late, late at night, and what is the best part of arriving somewhere at night? Waking up the next morning. 
Oh, we got little fountains in the pool. Wow, this place is paradise. Yeah. Oh, what a great spot. Here in Mauritius, we stayed at an incredible place. We want to introduce you to Muse Villas. surfing uh, because like um we surfed this spot called Tamarind Bay that had like a beach it had sandy like a, a sandy bottom with um not like the bud but like um the butt um but seaweed <laughs> there's there's like a little bit of seaweed like a little bit of seaweed yeah grab Ralph <laughs> Seaweed. How dare you, man? Nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are all the way. You guys also have way too big of smiles on your face. <laughs> now you're paying for it. <laughs> Just lean back. You're a surfer now. <laughs> we found the most picture perfect for me and the children. Little surf spot. One of the reasons why I was personally so excited to come here to Mauritius is the surf. And so you would think that the whole trip would have been planned around me and my surf and just charging. Until. Until we found the perfect place that was so perfect for Jess and the kids that you know what? I said, you guys go for it. I'm just gonna sit back and watch. Party I'll move, I'll move. Oh yeah, girls. Wait, Mina, wait, it's coming, wait. There we go, now, Mina. Party up, Mom and Mina. Oh, party wave. You got it, Kat, you got it. Nice party wave. Sometimes I lay under the moon I thank God I'm breathing And then I pray don't take me soon, I am here for a reason. I'm playing the long game here because if you are a golfer and you just want to golf your entire life, you would be a foolish man to just golf and leave your children and wife at home because teach your wife and children to love golfing and you will golf every day of your life. 
That's it is That's with the my goal. surfing. <laughs> In case you were wondering why I was being so selfless all week. That's true. We really did have such an incredible experience here. Uh, I want to highlight Callahan and his incredible growth that he showed. Um, there really is nothing better than seeing something, a sport, an activity click in your child and it fully clicked. And to see his confidence just skyrocket, it was awesome. Oh good, this one's a tiny one. You wanna try this tiny one? All right, start the paddle. <laughs> yeah! Good job, Callie. And as soon as he felt the confidence of like, I'm doing this, he turned around and looked at all of us, give us one of these. <laughs> and then was just yelling like, yo, yo, Manila, did you see that wave? Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, his confidence. I loved it. I feel like surfing though, like I have a lot of fear that comes with it. And like most of the time surfing is on a reef and there's a ton of people and there's just, it's just a lot going on. And this particular place, was so non-threatening in every sense of the word that we charged. You're such I a charged. good surfer when you're feeling confident I, and I, safe. I mean, yeah. Like any sport, I feel like confidence goes a really long way in how you perform. <laughs> you're doing it, just like Dorothy. High five, that was your best wave. There you go, be a little forward, a little forward. There you go. Whoa. Stay on your board, Kelly. Stay on it. Nice. Stay on it. <laughs> Pop up. Whoa, Kelly! There you go, there you go. Oh. Yeah, buddy, yeah, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Kelly's already on it. There you go, stay low, stay low. Yeah, Kelly, it's looking great. Yeah, hop up, hop up. Your choice, you wanna be all done or one more? One more. One more? Okay, go for it. Hey, you paddle off, okay? One arm at a time, though. Yeah. I really have been so impressed with Museville. They have invented a new type of tourism, a new type of experience. So, we're staying at this incredible villa, and we go out surfing the first day, and I come back thinking like, you know, we're staying at an incredible house, but I'm ready to like make my own bed and cook my own food. We come back to an incredible meal, and my bed was made. And it was in that moment I realized, one, we've made it, <laughs> no. but it, it, it's this really cool combo of like private house villa experience and then all the perks and benefits and luxuries that, uh, that a hotel offers. My favorite thing about Muse Villas that they did was the small and thoughtful things that they sprinkled in throughout our week. Oh yeah. That's cute guys. Manila, look how cool Callie looks. Oh my goodness. Okay, the first time. Yeah. Just a little bit of lemon. Just like sushi. Mira, come here, bud. Here, Yeah, you want to try your bite? Mm. What do you think, Kelly? Let me see. Let me see bite now. There you go. Fresh crepes, some banana bread. Where do I, where do I start? So a long time before, Mauritius was on the spice road because the spices were more, more uh, precious than even gold. So I'm gonna ask you if you can smell each of them and the game will be to guess where to place it. That's <laughs> So, yeah. Okay, what do we got next, Manila? This is ginger. Ah, you're good. Ginger. Ginger. Top of the triangle in front of you, and you do it like that. Okay? Yes, Kaya, that's very good. Mm -hmm. 
and then with your right hand you, you take some more. Don't touch him, don't touch him now. Don't try to. You can like see his face on the skin that came off. Chile, Lala, Lala, Lile, 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 Chile, Lala, Lile, 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 Chila. <laughs> hey, come here, buddy. Hey, what you doing? Doing. Oh, okay. Dad. Okay. I just was wondering what you're doing, looking so classy. Hey, uh, what do you want to do after dinner? You wanna... Huh? Skinny dip. Oh! We forgot the pool! Come on, ready to One, two, three, go! Okay, I got it! Get her! Every town Ready? Has its ups and downs Times the uh, the numbers are down. Not a nodding hand. I'm inclined to believe. <laughs> On your mark. We weren't Get so down. Time to go. You were swimming in the pool. Leo was water bending doing this. Got it. Yeah. Oh yeah. The knack of your rocks. <laughs> and then we at nighttime we swim in our not in our clothes naked. And in our family it's called skinny dipping. My name's Kelly and I'm gonna swim across this whole pool in one breath. You got it, buddy. Go. Calm your heart. Go, Kelly! Hey! Good job, bud. All right, this is the ceremony to hereby declare Callie G a reader and receives his prize. I get no way. Mom, check it, check it. First, tell me the letters. K. A. G. Now do the sounds. Pig. I'm gonna send this to Miss. I'm gonna send this to Miss Debbie. I'm yeah, sure that you're I'll coming off. into kindergarten three. already ready. He's gonna do three. Okay. 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 <laughs> next. Okay. First, tell me the letters. P. A. T. P. A. T. P. A. T. P. A. T. Last one. Okay, you ready? <laughs> huh? At. Huh? At. Hat. Ah! <laughs> oh, one more, one more. Tally, gee. Dude, you get your prize. Are you so What's the excited? prize? Yeah. He doesn't want to He does not get his own Nintendo. Daddy. He huh? can have as a Nintendo game. Do you want a game or your own Nintendo? Oh, Nintendo. I promise him. We've been working towards it. He, there's that, like the Switch. You can get like a mini one for like half the price. Who did I only get the Switch? What do I get when I learn to read? Yeah, okay. what did I get? But it's still Mario Odyssey, okay? Okay. Okay. If you can get this one, it's hard. Ah! <laughs> He's gonna be the best reader than 
anyone in this class. It does so Daddy, good. Really? You ready for kindergarten now? Yeah. But at least I don't know how to spell. Yeah, no way. Oh, wait, let's see, let's see <laughs> at least. <laughs> What is that? Thank you. Marshmallow? Yes, sir. What do you do? <laughs> Callie, what do you say? Thank you. Final night. Look at this setup over here. Movie night. Gosh, this place. Wow. What is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. 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 You guys made these? I can't wait for you to see this. See what? I can't tell you the surprise. Where is it? Outside. Oh, let's go see it. Wait for me, Mina. Oh my gosh, first of all, the it's sunset. Our own... It's a popcorn machine, I think. Oh, <laughs> you're stoked. Wow. <laughs> Want to watch them start it? We're done. Yeah. Time up the movie. <laughs> no way. <laughs> You're a weirdo. Yeah. We're coming. Oh, we started working. Oh. Surprise. Ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle, what was your question? Um, are we going to move here? You want to move here? Yeah. That's <laughs> pretty Jack awesome, Carson? right? So the way this trip was originally planned is it was just a lot of surfing, 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 and then one day on a boat, hopefully, hopefully, looking for sperm whales. Good morning. Did you snooze okay? <gasps> hey, you want to keep snoozing or you want to go see sperm whales? Sperm whales. All right, let's go. Do you want to keep snoozing or you want to go swim with sperm whales? Good morning, fam. You guys awake? Uh -huh. Do you hear something? What do you hear, Kelly? You hear? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Sleeping way. Sleeping way. Yes, sir. The internet can be a really cool place. We connected with a gentleman by the name of Bart. Sleeping way, sleeping way. Yes, sir. Mauritius Bart. And he's Garrett, but in Mauritius. That is one of the nicest things you've ever said to me. Cause yeah. he's awesome. When he was like talking about like how he spends his days and his like priorities and what he likes to do. And Garrett was like, that's me. That's me. Oh, it, except that he has a boat and lives in Mauritius and speaks French. Come on, salad. Okay. This is happening. Whoa! 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 Stay in it. Stay in it. Stay in it. Stay in it. Yo! You just had the best movie of your life? <laughs> oh, oh, so many! Wow! Bart is living his absolute best life. He, uh, the thing that I love most about him is how much he loves and respects and cares for his home and this ocean. And I truly believe that he is rewarded with incredible wildlife surf, like just na natural opportunities because of his deep love and respect for Mauritius. Yo, this weather in the background. Okay, good, 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 good. Sleeping way, sleeping way. Yes, sir. Jess, it's big. Callie, yeah. do you see him? There, Jess, Jess, let's get ready to get in the water. Come on. I want to try something new. 
I want to explain the story, tell the story of the sperm whales before I even show the footage, because I, I think it's a powerful thing for people to like imagine what it was like and then see it. We quietly and calmly slip into the water and that's when I see it. The first sperm whales coming our way. The really big one just immediately kind of like swam right below underneath us and then this young one comes directly towards me and Callie. So directly at us that I stop swimming and I kind of just hold my ground thinking it's going to maybe go around us or whatever. It just... It was right probably a foot away from... Like I think had you just reached out, it was you could have touched it. It was from me to the camera. So much so that I did have a GoPro with me and I just like held it close to my chest and I just focused. I, I didn't even look at what this GoPro was recording and I just looked right at its eye as it came by us. And its eye... It's a cool thing with whales that you can tell their emotion. You can tell how excited or scared or angry or in this instance, calm they are. Because his eye was just kind of all like chill like this. And mine was probably like <laughs> <laughs> Such a special moment. From my perspective though, Bart was like, make sure you're, you know, kind of perpendicular to the whale so they like don't have to die. I thought it was going to go by me. That's why I just And so stopped. I was, you know, I was probably 15 feet back from you. Mom deep dives, and then I'm waiting for the baby to deep dive, and then just, right, I mean. So what are you thinking? Because Callie's on my back. I'm nervous. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if mom's going to be mad and just like kind of come up and like crush you or what. But I also was like, oh my gosh, this baby's like curious and wants to see you and Callie. Baby whale was playing with your babies and you and the other mom are looking at each other just like, kids. Callie, what do you know about sperm whales? I know what they sound like. I know. Tell us what they sound like. Nice. They're like... One with, almost hit me with its tail. They eat giant squid. They eat giant squid for their food. Mila, do you know anything about them? If you look closely on the sperm whale's back, um, or tummy or anywhere, um, <laughs> you, you can see marks from fighting a giant squid. There's so much sperm whale skin in the water. It looked like plastic bag, so I picked it up and I felt it, I was like, this is in a plastic bag. They have these little fish like attached to them. They're called Camoras. Camoras. No, Rumwar. Rumwaras? Yeah, that's right. You know how your mouth is up here and it stops right here? Sperm rails, they look like they have a cut. Like he's, t he means like a circular head. Yeah, a circle. No! Yes, where they have like the cut right here. Yeah, they, they kind of have like a tiny sharp mouth. So 
Their mouths are white to attract the squid because it looks like a tiny fish. Man, that was such a special day. When it finished, I was just so full of gratitude and thought if that was the only whale experience I ever have here in Mauritius, I feel so grateful. So I kind of like compartmentalized, gift wrapped it in my heart and it's forever there, thinking that would be the only whale experience I might ever have in Mauritius. So on our very last morning, Bart sets up this whole day, has, you know, all these boards packed Surfing up in his car. And snorkeling. He had us pack all this food and everything. He had a whole day planned for us. It was mostly just surfing, but I just put some like GoPros and dive masks in my backpack. Cause we in Mauritius and you never know. You never know. You never know. But this is what I always say, you never know. It could be your night. You never know. So we're driving and Bart gets this video of what did they say, 40? Like 40 sperm whales that were having a family reunion. And Bart, you just see this stress. Stress, just blood over Because he thinks he's got to take us surfing. And he looks at us, he looks at you with these like stress in his eyes and you go, let's go see the whales. Okay, 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 boys, tell yeah. me what's happening. We're figuring things I'm out. Gonna try to see what we can do now. Garrett, explain what's happening. So we were on our way for a casual surf, but then we just got word that there's 30 sperm whales just snoozing, just sleeping. But it could be quite the mission to get out there. So we're, we're looking. Bart we're looking over here is stressing. I'm stressing. FOMO <laughs> to the max. We gotta get out there. Yeah, we gotta get out there. Please. He goes, I can't surf when this is going on. So we just run around for the next hour, like getting gas, finding boat, just running around, putting boards away, like, and then we get out on the water and we find out, I mean, it had been probably an hour and a half since we'd gotten this first message. And I know Bart was a little nervous, like, will they be gone? We made the right call. We did it, Bart. Well done, Bart. We did it. <laughs> oh, coming our way, guys. Oh, I'm shaking. And as we're pulling up and you just see. Blow. So many whales. Whoever wants to get in, get shirts off and let's go, let's go, shirts off. Guys, this video might be like two hours long and I'm not even mad about it. It's like, it's like there was a bunch of buses, children's school buses, just like, hey. Imagine buses cuddling. Yeah. That's what it was like. Yeah. It's like a perfect explanation. Like yeah. what do you, imagine submarines just like laying on top of each other and cuddling and like intertwined. No, right in front of you, but. Oh. Oh. Their noses are at the very tip. That very first drop, you jumped in. I jumped in with the kids, and you were a little bit behind. I think like, the current was kind of taking you, and the whales were. Coming so the whales pass me. me and just go straight directly at you. And I looked down, and we don't have fins. We at least have masks. We don't have fins, we don't have snorkels. We didn't think we were so involved. We're just in the water, and I've got all three kids on me, and I see whales like under like every direction just like coming towards us and me and the three kids kind of just like kick our like legs up and just watch them i loved it from my perspective because i see you guys my family my wife and kids just like clumped together and then just <sighs> whales just coming at you and i see you guys like excited and pointing in every yeah. direction and then and you come up and I'm losing my mind. The excitement that was coming out of Jessica's mouth when she came up for air was, I, I love, cause I love these whales. I know. We'll do it all, everything on our own. If I'm there here, if I just there here, would you lie with me and just forget the world? Saving you.
are just there here Would you lie with me and just forget the world? If I lay here, if I just stay here, would you lie with me and just forget the world? If I just stay here Would you lie with me and just forget the world?